and here we are today down at the apiary. We're going to treat our bees with Apigard in order to sort out uh, the varroas. Apigard comes in a box of 10 sachets on which you put the date. At the hive, we need to make sure we've got essential items, the pen of writing on the Apigard, the date that you've applied it, the bottom uh, board, to slide in to stop the vapors dropping out the bottom of your hive and an eek to make space so that the tray can sit on top of the frames and below the crown board. Sliding in the uh, bottom board to stop the fumes falling out. As you can see this colony's got a feeder on the reason being that we've taken off the honey and uh, we need to replace, they need to get some food in. The bees will be used to coming up to collect food, so if we put Apigard in, then it shouldn't cause them any problem. either take the uh, quin excluder on or leave it off if you want, it doesn't really matter. What I'm doing now is putting an eek on, just a small, um, to leave a gap, so that when we put the guard on, it doesn't get squashed by the crown board when we put it back together. So I'm putting the date on. opening up the sachet. This contains foam oil based gel. Put it into the corner so it, does, it disrupts the, the bees as little as possible. We leave the sachet in place for two weeks. We come back have a quick look at the mic drop and then replace it with a fresh sachet for another two weeks. And then that's it, that's your Apigard treatment done for the year. <laughs>